everyone and welcome back to my channel JRC Restoration Decor and Designs and my name is Phyllis and here on my channel I share DIYs, home decor, Goodwill thrift hauls and much much more. So if you've been watching the series of this three or four part bathroom makeover, you'll see I've been doing this for my sister. The first one you just saw the clip screenshot was the vanity. This past was just the shower window and door and the inside of the shower. Today's video is going to be this wall and I call it the bathtub pony wall. And I'm going to be covering it with some black peel and stick contact paper that we purchased from Amazon and this black peel and stick compact tack paper sorry has a beautiful design and I use this in her basement on her basement wall when I did her basement uh, makeover on last year so if you'd like to see how I put this together then just keep watching now this is the contact paper that we purchased and she purchased two rolls um, and that covered this pony wall and all around the edge of the tub wherever you see the brick um, or the tile actually is what I covered around the tub and here I started laying it down on the top of the pony wall and I'll be covering all of that and then further down not too far down you'll see I will be unscrewing um, screws and not taking the silver panel around the hot and cold um, net mechanism I won't be taking it off I'll just be sliding it up so that I can get the contact paper up in it now I did start covering that and didn't take it off until I noticed that I could take the screws off and when I began to cover under the round part that's when I un um, hooked the screws and you'll see me doing that in a minute now I just got finished doing the side of the top and the side of the pony wall and then you'll see where I've already started covering the front. Now here, in between each laying down, I did wherever there was a curve, I'll put it like that, wherever there was a curve, I used the blow dryer to heat the adhesive and to cause it to automatically conform. And that's what this is doing. So when it um, bends over um, any edge, I just use the blow dryer and then I press it down with my fingers towards the end of the video you'll see where I'll be uh, blow drying the whole thing after the polyurethane that I'm going to be applying when it dries because I'm going to be what I'm doing here with my finger I want it to conform and mold to each tile piece so it looked like it was actually black tile and not white tile and here you see I'm using the blow dryer if you look closely the heat is causing it to conform and right there kind of bent in a little bit so I'll pull it out and put the blow dry back on it and um, then press it down with my fingers. Okay, now I'm covering the front of the pony wall and you'll see once I get up to the mechanism there, I'm going to cut it very close up to it and then use the knife, the utility knife to just go around the curve of that um, round silver piece that's around the on and off knob right here is where I just um, scored around that piece and I'm done with that and then I'll be showing you how I will unscrew to just pull that piece up 
and not off but just pulling it up i didn't want to take it off because i didn't want to figure out i think i know how to take the knob off but i didn't want to figure out doing that um because i didn't want to get myself into something that i did not know what i was doing and i'm sorry if you heard the ac <laughs> just went off i didn't realize the thing was on <laughs> while i was recording so i'm so sorry it's going to be kicking on and off so i apologize for the extra noise in the background so what i was pointing out is i'm going to be covering the bottom up under the shower because it's also tile here i'm pointing out the screws that you will unloose and i'm going to show you over in the shower i think i did that in the last video pointing the screws so these screws here and i think i stated also when i did the shower back in june they had screws on that too and i didn't know it so i used the orange tool if you all look at that video and i'll link that video in the description box below that i use I, an orange tool that i use to get around that not knowing that there were screws on here what i'm doing right now to just loosen it up to pull it out again i probably could have removed it i'm sure i can remove it but i just didn't want to go through all of that taking the knob off and it might be simple but i didn't want to take any chances because again i've never done it so i didn't want to get into something that i was not sure about and waste a lot of time trying to figure out how to put it back on because i was on a very limited time frame because i was going to go back home next week and i didn't want to leave her bathroom half done so here i'm taking the screws um all, uh, not off but just see where i'm wiggling it just loosening it up enough to pull it from the wall just so that i can slide the paper up under it and then um, press it down and uh, cut the excess off after I bring it all the way down to the tub. Okay, you see here, I'm trying to get it up under there. It's not hard, you see where it slid there and then when I try to pull it down, it just came out. I did, just didn't pull enough of the backing off to make it stick to the contact paper. And I didn't state it, but um, even the directions tell you on on the back of any peel and stick contact paper or any, any surface um, change you make, you always clean the area. So I did clean the shower wall, I mean the bathtub wall, towel wall to make sure these things stick. I didn't show that in the video, but I did clean it. So here I'm putting it up under once I get it up under there, which is not hard, it's just that it keeps uh, sticking to the backing. I didn't pull up enough of it off, and that's why it keeps coming off. So when I did determine to pull enough of it off to stick, you see here, it worked, and I'm just rubbing it and adhering it. So I won't talk all the way through this because I'm just doing the same process, and you'll see where I'll just be clipping little, um, let's see, little sections until I get it all fitted. I'll even show where I did a little piece to just go up under the nozzle because I didn't cut enough to cover all the white. So I'll just let you watch what I'm doing. And then later on down the video, you'll see me sealing this entire um, tub, the black part with the polyurethane like I did with the shower.
okay here it is all done and you'll see the you'll see some little pieces like here that's a little piece that i cut to fit around there because i didn't cut enough to cover all that white but it'll be sealed down with the polyurethane and i'm not uh, um, a licensed or professional wallpaper layer but i think i do good enough and this is my family my sister she loves it and she appreciates it so she took all of my mistakes for love and here it is i'm getting ready to put this polyurethane on the entire pony wall and all of the other surrounding areas where i put the black contact paper and i'm doing the same process that i did in the shower and on the sink so i won't need to talk through this Okay, it's all done and just waiting this is just showing that I finished covering and then of course it has to dry um, again between each application I make sure I let it sit for at least an hour but I'm pretty sure it's more than an hour because when I do this I'm going downstairs to do something else so I get almost for, not forget that I've done this but I make sure I have enough time in between each application so it's at least an hour with the polyurethane but in most cases when I'm doing it I'm leaving it at least two hours depending on what it is now for the cabinets when I did the cabinet doors I left it for a whole day I didn't touch it anymore um, I would put on a coat and one coat one day and then the next day I put on another coat because the finish is totally different that's wood and this is paper so um, it just depends on your surface that you're applying this polyurethane on which will determine how long you need it to sit before you put a second coat on it so here i'm taking the blow dryer after it dried and i'm again i put two or three coats already on this here and i'm just taking the blow dryer to just make it an extra adhesion to it but mainly i am pressing in the paper into the grout that's it to the grout area just to define each tile to come through the paper so I want it to conform so it looks like like what you see here um, to take on the form of the tile print and the grout and it came out so nice so she can and it's sealed in to where this is I made it waterproof this contact paper is not originally waterproof but putting this seal on it made it to where it could withstand water so when she washes the tub she just washed, wipes this down with a rag. And so this completes this video of how I covered the tub area and the pony wall. And you all come back next week as I share with you DIYs that I've created to go in the bathroom. And then the last video will show the before and after of the completed bathroom makeover. And I want to thank you all for stopping by. so much for watching JRC restoration decor and designs and remember the distance between your dreams and reality is called action so until next time make it a blessed and productive day everyone bye bye